Rock Salt Musicast Experience, Aaron, Dave, no Patrick. No Patrick. Oh, I didn't even get an ADP. <laughs> ADNP. <A-D-N-P>. ADNP. <laughs> it's just funny how he, he, he'll, you know, you know, you, you like, hey, give me ADP. And he'll do it different each time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he throws me off with it, too. And I think he intends to throw me off with it. Oh. Because I, I I wait and I wait. There's a story. You remember, um, uh, who was that DJ? Um, and that's the rest of the story. Uh, what was his name? Oh, oh my gosh. You know, you know who I'm talking about, yes. though. I know you're looking it up, and I'll tell the story. So I was listening to Don Geronimo. He's a DJ out of WJFK, I think. Is he? No, he's on a different station now. But anyways, uh, if you want to listen to Don Geronimo, he is on um, iHeartRadio. And he he told a story of his days back in uh, back in radio where that guy... Did you find his name? Paul Harvey. Paul Harvey. That's the guy. I should have yeah. known that. All I could think of was Art Bell, and I knew it wasn't Art Bell. It's yeah. Paul when, I, when I listened to Rush Limbaugh, they always had a segment. Yeah. That's for a story. Yeah. I should have known And that. he had great stories to tell. Uh, he'd always end. He'd always end his break with, and that's the rest of the story. A little pause there, you know? And Don Geronimo said that, when they used to record those things to play at a later date, um, they they would give them to different DJs to play. So he put it on a on a cart, and he would give it to the DJ to play later. He said we would continually cut it so we would make that pause longer and longer and longer, and to the point I think it went like. 45 seconds or something. <laughs> and as a DJ, that's really funny because um, you're sitting there waiting. You can see what the out cue is. You can see that, and you know that he's going to say the rest of the story, so you know it's there. So you're, you'll sit there and you'll wait and you'll wait, and then you'll go, wait a minute, something's not right, and you'll start looking at the board or you see if the card's playing. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the middle of you doing something else because you moved on, here's Paul Harvey going, rest of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Don Geronimo is a great storyteller, and uh, he's definitely worth checking out his show. He's, uh, like I said, you can find him on iHeartRadio. He's on the East Coast, so you'd have to listen in the middle of the night because he's a morning guy. And um, But uh, he's funny. He's a very funny DJ. Anyhow, moving on. Winter Wonderland from Striper there. <laughs> um, I used to have that. I th- I'm pretty sure I still do have that on a picture disc. A seven-inch vinyl picture disc of Striper in the yellow and black days, you know, uh, with the big hair. Yeah, I, 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 um, my friend Mike had that. I have the yellow disc, I think. Okay. Of, of that, yeah. Yeah. Somewhere. Um, I... I know people love that one. Uh, once again, I know I talked about Battle Him and the Republic last time. This was not a solid cover from Striper, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, I love Wonder Wonderland. Land. Really? I do. I, I, really I do. find it to be, well, you know what? It is perfect because it is a perfect picture of, like, 1986 <laughs> <laughs> big hair bands. Oh, yeah. Hey, Robert! <laughs> you know, that old thing. So, um, And I enjoyed Reason for the Season, too. Yeah. I, I I love Striper. I just every once in a while you got to poke fun at your heroes, right? That's true. Well, they're not heroes. What what do I want to say? Um, every once in a while, Michael Sweet posts something on Instagram with their old pictures, yeah, the, them in the yellow and black, and they're like, "Oh, that was hideous." Well, you know, he did when we saw him on the uh, To Hell with the Devil tour. He was talking about walking around uh, Sunset Strip, and uh, you go, "Wow, there's a really cute girl." Oh no, that's Robert. <laughs> oh anyways so um oh we should have got some christmas music some sleigh bell music for this uh pad for me i'll find some christmas all right uh nondescript music that maybe we can get away with playing (laughs) um (laughs) no one's listening (laughs) well you know it's the algorithms that are listening that's right (laughs) if you want to be uh give us a christmas gift folks just follow like us you know we don't ask uh, for much. Yeah, that's it. Just push the button on your phone or tablet or computer. Just click, you know, maybe a like on YouTube. 
you know, it helps our egos, right? That's it. This show's all about our egos. <laughs> well, my <laughs> mine mostly. Well, Patrick <laughs> is just a show for he can he can dress up into a costume. Every yeah, week. I think it gives him an avenue. You yeah. know, yeah. Um, so I am finding. I, I, I wonder if his kid goes. Who's daddy this week? <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> mommy. Who's that strange man? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna. Put it low in the background. There's a little jingle bells. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, it's kind of become a tradition on our show that we do our gift giving. You know, each yeah. year we, we get something for each other. Uh, you know, we don't put a dollar cap on it, but no. we try to keep it in the, what, like the $20 range somewhere in there. Yeah. You know, because we got families, yo. Yes, we do. <laughs> so I'm going to go first because I'm a. Uh, and it's the thought that counts. <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> oh, okay. If you say so, oh. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, you know, I'm always very appreciative. Should I open this first or that? You no, got no, me two. I only there. got you one. Go, no, that so, one. That all right. One. Yeah. Um, I'll have to step up my game next year. I actually was going to get you a second one. Do uh-huh. uh, you want me to at least tell you what it was going to be? Well, yeah, go ahead. Uh, it was like a shirt pretty much like yours. It's just a T-shirt, uh-huh. um, a black T-shirt uh, with a wreath on it. It said, uh, I survived the Nakatomi <laughs> Christmas party. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, but uh, I ran out of time. That's all right. All right. Ripping open the package. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh hey, look. Hey, I was just looking for these. Yeah. Uh, my store was sold out. Uh, bear claws. I yes. love them. A case of bear claws. Yeah. I might, I might have one of those now. I'm kind of <laughs> hungry. <laughs> I'm not lying. Uh, oh my gosh! All uh, right. That no, that's the grand prize. So that's oh, okay. why I'm making you go last because I, right. I I really do want to get a good reaction out of you. Oh. So I'm gonna uh, be greedy and open the second one now. If that's cool. Yeah. All right. And when you do your other show with Patrick, uh, you can wear that. Oh, he can. Yeah. Well, that kind of gives it away. Yes, it does <laughs> a little bit. Is it a mask? <laughs> <laughs> no, Patrick will wear those. Let's see. Oh, you wrapped this thing good. Don no. must have wrapped this. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. This is definitely not wrapped by a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to get canceled now. You know. Oh, I'm sorry. Someone who identifies as a man. <laughs> um, oh, man. Let's see. Oh, cool. T-shirt. Yes. Right on. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I, I didn't think you had one. No, I don't. Um, this is a, uh, I, I will wear it on the next show, actually. Okay. It's a uh, Let's Go Brandon t-shirt. Yes. I will proudly wear that, by the way. Oh, I know you will. I totally will. I may wear it to the Christmas party tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was in the uh, post office today I, mailing out packages. I just want to offend a bunch of people. Oh, just wear that shirt around. You know, I'm not, uh, I, I do have a bit of a filter. I'm not, I'm not Jermaine. <laughs> I have a little bit of a, uh, oh, how will this go? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Uh, where Jermaine just jumps in to the deep end of the pool. <laughs> um, but, I, yeah, I was at the post office today. Long line, no doubt. I was there right when it opened. And I um, I told my son after we left, I said, you know, I didn't jump into that conversation because you were there and I didn't want to embarrass you or anything like that. But behind us in line, there was one person, by the way, one person working the counter at first. They didn't call out two more, but there was one person for like 10 people in line. And a dude behind me says to another dude behind me, government. (laughs) It's government run, brother. Yeah. And he goes, oh, yeah. Oh, Newsom. Oh, you know. (laughs) And it went on and on. And I just wanted to jump in. And I went, no, I can't do that to Shane. (laughs) So, and then then when we get to the counter, uh, talking to the very nice woman behind the counter that was helping me out. And I don't know how we got on the subject, but we got on the subject of music and seeing concerts. And she said, "Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I really like Garth Brooks, but I don't I don't listen to him anymore since he went to, you know, Biden's inauguration. That's the way she said it. I see. And I went, yeah, well, okay, I'm trying not to be political. <laughs> and uh, so I just let Lord her. Help me, yeah, please. <laughs> just let her talk. Just let her talk. Um, but uh, I, did tell, I t- did tell Shane when we got back to the car, I went, eh, you know what? She's got a point, though. 
Uh, I don't listen to Garth Brooks for politics, and he doesn't put politics in his music. Um, I don't know why you defend fans that way, especially when most of your fans are conservative. Well, I look at it like this. Um, the president, not Biden, but the president is asking you to come perform at his inaugural. And I, that's how I look at it. Okay. That's a decent way to look yeah. at it. So. You know, uh, like I said, he doesn't get into politics and uh, he's okay in my book. Yeah. All right. All Your right. turn, brother. Oh, man. Okay. Can't All wait. Right. I can't wait. Can't okay. wait. It seems like a book. Probably is. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Do you know what it is? Can you tell what it is yet? Well, it's something with Striper. Yeah. And so. Wow. All right. Do you know what it is? No, I don't. Okay. It is a Striper devotional. Wow. I got that on their website. And, uh, you know, one of those things of you are very difficult to buy for. I'm, I'm the most difficult. Yeah. You're very difficult to buy for. So I got to find really unique things that you there might like. Yeah. The video I'm trying to get it. Up. Oh, it's it's frozen on my end. Okay. So I don't know what's going. Go. All right. Well, if you say so, it doesn't yeah. show on my end. Okay. You're all frozen, but that's okay. Um. Oh, my Zoom just crashed. Oh, there goes my there goes my Wi-Fi again. Um, yeah, you froze. Yeah, my Zoom's gone. That's okay. Um, we'll, I'll take a picture. We'll post it. <laughs> all right. But you're frozen still on there. So we're, that, well, we're my Wi-Fi's good. gone. Yeah. My Wi-Fi's gone. Okay. Um. So, where did we leave off? Oh, the uh, uh, yeah, you're very difficult to buy for. And I, I was like, ah, I really don't know what I need to get Aaron, but I need to get off the pot here because I'm running out of time. Uh, and this showed up. It, thank you to Michael Sweet. <laughs> you know, he's if Gene Simmons was the best salesman in rock and roll, Michael Sweet is the vice. <laughs> <laughs> he knows how to sell. Yes, he does. <laughs> um, anyways, this has the uh, the words to all their st- all their not all their songs, but you know their early stuff and uh, uh, chosen songs. I guess I should say mm-hmm. it, it's a it's a devotional. Goes up to number fifty three. There's fifty three songs here, and uh, it tells a little story of the band and how they put together the music and uh, uh, you know uh, what it relates to. Biblically, uh, there's also some great pictures in here. Um, by the way, if you guys are interested, I'll give it a plug. Uh, go to the Striper website. Striper.com. Yeah, and uh, get yourself a Striper devotional because it, it's pretty cool. Well, last year you bought me a book, or two years ago. I think it was last year you bought me the... Uh, uh, no, Nikki you Six. before last, I think You before last. Yeah. I enjoyed that. I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah, the Nikki Six book. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is... This is way different than Nikki Six, bro- brother. <laughs> yes, but um, cool. Yeah, uh, you seem excited. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, my wife says uh, you are so difficult to buy for. She and, and my dad was too because if I wanted something, I just went out and bought it. Yeah, he went out and bought it, and that's how I am a little bit. Yeah, you know. Well, you know, uh, I'm kind of the same way. Uh, I don't wait for Christmas because I'm not 100 percent sure I'll get that. So if I see something I really want, I'll just uh, snatch it up myself. I guess that makes me difficult to buy for. But, um, you know, I texted Don when I saw that. And I go, hey, would Aaron like this? And uh, she goes, he'd love it. I go, oh, yeah. I go, yeah, I kind of kind of envious at the moment. <laughs> I think I want one too. <laughs> and I thought that would be really funny if you if she told you that and that's what you gave me. Oh, I see. No, she she didn't tell me. She told me uh she goes, "You're going to you're going to love his gift." Too. Okay. And and she is exactly right. She knows me. Yeah. Heard over well, 30 years and, way better uh, than me. Yeah. <laughs> and so you know, it's going to be easy now. I know what to get you for your birthday. <laughs> You'll forget. Uh, uh, that's all right. Okay. She, uh, no, I wasn't. I wasn't saying that no, because to, I'll ask her. What should I get, Dave? For and she'll go. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, yeah. The. Uh, I wasn't saying that to her. You know, as a hint, hint. Yeah. I, I was just saying it factually, which is yeah. I'm a little envious. I think I want one too. 
<laughs> there you go. That, Merry Christmas. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the gift. Oh, yes. And uh, we'll, we'll check in with Patrick when he's feeling better for the gift we got him. Yes. So that'll be... Uh, That'll be, yeah. That'll be saving the best for last. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will be. All right, we got him some tie downs for his trailer in Kentucky, so he doesn't fly away in the next tornado. That's it. <laughs> or as they call him out there, tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> Not a nader, honey. <laughs> Ralph Nader, no. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play uh next. The new Relent song. Yeah. You yeah. know what? I know. I, I really I really like it. It's did you kinda, like it? Yeah, I did. Uh, and it, it's, you know, it's, more, you know, the Mariah Carey. Oh, uh, I was going to uh, say, don't give it away uh, yet. Okay. But I mean, uh, but people it, are turning it off now. No, no, no. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little, it's a, it, it starts off a little pop rock a little bit, and then it gets right into a, a heavy smasher. You know, you know? Uh, I love it. You know, this year they said that uh, Mariah Carey's version of "All I Want for Christmas" finally fell off its its pedestal. Um, I I don't know what beat it out, but uh, it's not the top anymore, and that's okay. You know, had a good run. Yeah, uh, I was not a fan of the song until I saw a video on YouTube <laughs> of this guy, this comedian who dresses up like Mariah Carey, but he's got a full on beard. <laughs> yes, and then he does the song, and and it's really funny to see people's reactions. Yeah, I don't know if it's still up there in the current climate that we live in. Oh, it is up there. Is it? All right. I would be very disappointed if it wasn't because that guy's really funny and I, I don't remember his name. I, it's got millions and millions of views. Yeah, he's yeah. very funny. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, go search. Go search. Uh, um, oh, what would be a good way to find that, Aaron? Uh, oh, just 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 go on YouTube and search. Oh, uh, I know all what. I, all I want for Christmas and it'll pop up because it's. it's Here, here's it's an even cool. better way to narrow it down. All I want for Christmas chat roulette. And that'll take you straight to that video. Okay. Um, he's very funny. He's very funny. Yes. And uh, people's reactions to him are equally funny. <laughs> so don't hate me for liking all I want for Christmas because now I do. I know I'm late to the to the party on this one, and the party's already over. <laughs> but I dig this song, so I was kind of kind of glad it was in your playlist. Yep. All right. Relent. All I want for Christmas on the Rock Salt Music Cast Experience. 